Well, Joe, a big week ahead with two games in just a matter of a few days. How much are you looking forward to these two coming up? Yeah, massively uh, excited for the games. Um, coming to that crunch period of the season now. So, yeah, we um, we want to play. Um, we're looking forward to them and, uh, yeah, looking forward to getting back out there tomorrow at uh, the AGL. Can the Watford victory be a, a catalyst for continuing this winning run? We'll hope it give us some momentum for sure. Um, it's a big result for us, but the important thing now is how we back that up and we prove that you know we can deliver those type of performances consistently um, because we're going to need to if we're going to maintain uh, you know our hopes of um, finishing as hard as we can. How important will squad management be with, with three games in, in seven days? Yeah, we had a, a long discussion about that yesterday as staff and um, mindful of the game on Sunday, also mindful of you know the work, not just the physical output, but the the psychological state of the game and you know the the concentration and high level of focus that was required on Sunday is, is also a factor that we consider so yeah there'll be some players that we will sort of change around um, but yeah they won't be won't be changing majority of the, the, the team that played Sunday it'll just be some players that we think can can come in and give us the energy that the game will need um, and, and kind of yeah rest some players with that in mind as well. Wednesday night will be your assistant Charlie's final game at the football club. What's your um, message for him? I guess as he as he moves on to pastures new. Yeah, we wish him really well. And, you know, he's been a re really important asset to us over the last couple of years. And yeah, we um, we look forward to seeing how he progresses in his management journey. Um, and I he's really looking forward to starting that. So yeah, hopefully we can send him off with a good performance and a win tomorrow. And of course, this is our one and only midweek game of the season under the lights at the AGL Arena. And they always bring something special, don't they? Yeah, I think obviously off the back of Sunday's result, you know, we're going into it with a, a real good energy about us. And yeah, we like playing at home anyway and under the lights, yeah, it's a, a real good atmosphere. And we've got all of our players available that we've had from the last sort of few weeks. So yeah, we're in good shape and good spirits and um, yeah, hopefully it'll be another really good atmosphere. Billericke always tend to, to bring an edge whenever we play them and obviously particularly with a night game as well. That, that brings an edge in itself, doesn't it? Yeah, I guess so. And you know, they'll be really up for it and you now we're in good form, good spirits, but you know, we've got to back up our good work over the last couple of weeks because um, it's important we don't forget what's got us the results that we've got, particularly Sunday, um, and we have to carry that through to tomorrow, which I'm, I'm really confident we will. There's been a fair bit of change since the last time we faced Billericke back in August. Do you think they're more de different to prepare for this time, more difficult to prepare for, knowing there's been so much change? Yeah, it'd be a different team, I'm sure. Um, I still have the core of their group that you know we have, are familiar with, but it'd be a different team because it's got different staff. So. I'm sure there'll be a few things that will be different from our previous game, but yeah, we'll be well aware of the threats that they pose and, um, and we're fully aware of the areas that we think we can exploit with that as well. It was a tight game last time out, as, as we mentioned, and that victory, of course, got our season up and running. Yeah, it was a really important game for us. Uh, it's got a really good goal that game and managed to see out the result. We know it's not going to be easy, um, but we knew Sunday wasn't going to be easy and we, we come through that, so I'm hoping that we can... Yeah, apply the same energy, the same enthusiasm, same attitude, and um, yeah, really turn up the screw now with uh, with some important games coming up. After the game on Sunday, you spoke to the importance of, of backing up that result against Watford. What's the overriding message heading into this busy week? It's just not forgetting what got us that result. Um, we we'd conceded a late goal against Watford three weeks ago that we were really hurt by, but you know we really learnt from that and. I think that going into that Watford game second time round, we knew the significance of the game. We knew where we could have improved from the previous game. Um, and it's highlighting the importance of, of the, the factors to prepare and deliver the, the things that we felt were going to be really important. Just because we've got that win under our belt now, it doesn't mean that we are going to neglect those things. So it's about yeah, being mindful of what got us that important win. Um, having an expectation to fulfil that through to tomorrow, not just tomorrow, but Sunday and the remaining seven games that will follow that. So that will be really important to highlight. Um, and if we can you know, play really freely and, and work hard, as we said, and, and you know, real good quality execution in, in so many moments, um, then yeah, we, we give ourselves a really good chance.